Hello, my loves. Welcome back. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so I can see you back here again. So today's video is going to be a neutral early fall makeup tutorial to celebrate the season's change. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. First off, I want to apologize for the lighting. It's going to start off super bright and about halfway through this video, it's going to get a little bit darker. <laughs> so what I've done first off is started off with my transition shade, just a little bit warmer than my eye color. Next up, I used a little bit of a deep green in the corner of my eye and I used a lighter green right in the um, in the inner corner of my eye and I tapped just a little bit of a brighter green right into the center of my eye. I wanted to celebrate the leaves changing because they are so gorgeous. Next I'm kind of muddling the shadows together. I, this is all on purpose. Usually I wouldn't do it but I just want a hazy bit of a smoky eye. After this, I am using one of my favorite foundations to date. It is by The Body Shop. It is super moisturizing and it also has an SPF 15 in it. Still make sure to protect even when the sun is not shining quite as bright. You want to make sure you always have a broadband sunscreen, broad spectrum broadband, either way year round <laughs> so after or not after I'm still going over it the one thing I love about this foundation is that I can go over it and it's buildable coverage so on days when I really don't care I just kind of want to look partially made up I use one coat but days like today when I want to look a little bit extra without trying totally buildable so after I finish having my foundation so after I finish putting my foundation on I'm going to highlight and contour and where I highlight this is with a concealer stick that I found here in Sri Lanka I go underneath my eyes um, just in a little bit of a half moon I put a little triangle in the middle of my forehead <laughs> one line going down my cheek and just a teeny dot underneath my underneath my mouth so after it, it's time to bring some shadows. That would be on the side of my nose and on the sides of your face. The easiest way to contour is an E or a three is what it ends up making. Top part of three starts forehead and then <laughs> underneath the cheekbones. Now I'm taking my beauty blender and bringing it all in together. It looks so crazy right here, but it's totally worth it. Every time I look at a picture and it looks just chiseled and perfectly airbrushed, I know the whole process was worth it. <laughs> So now the blending process continues. This is not something I do every day, but after I'm finished, I want to make sure to set it in with a little bit of setting powder all over everywhere where there was a cream. And then I follow up going on top of where I contoured with a blush. This is one of my favorites. It's from my Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1 palette. And then I am using a highlighter. I think this is... Lucy by Gerard Cosmetics and I use this on the top of my cheekbones down the center of my nose on top of my forehead or in the center of my forehead excuse me on top and underneath my mouth so I'm using that same highlighter by Lucy underneath my brows to make them look more crisp and glowy and dewy I love it this whole process just ends up making me look super sun-kissed So now we're gonna move it right along to eyeliner. I have a whole video on it, but let me show you guys what I'm doing. I just, the easiest way to explain eyeliner, don't sneeze and don't cough. Keep the line straight as possible. And yeah, I can go deeper into it in my Back to the Beauty Basics series, but yeah. So after I finish that up, I'm going to be using that deep I'm going to be using a matte black um, eyeshadow underneath my eyes and then I'm going to use a deep brown liquid lipstick around the corners of my lips. I love this so much. It's like lip contouring. It gives your lips the dimension and depth that it needs because I am going to be highlighting my lips with Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. I love this color so so much. I love it because I can use it on its own or I can use it with a deep color here. And do you see how just voluptuous and juicy and amazing my lips look? Seriously, I love it. I just kind of go a little bit crazy after a while, but 
I, I eventually stop myself and that is actually it this is a gorgeous look this is something that I wear like on when I'm going to church if I'm meeting up brunch with the girl something like that but that's it I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial because I've enjoyed having you here if you have not subscribed make sure to do so so I can see you back here again and I will talk to you later bye bye Thank you.